My name is George Lawson. I'm a lecturer in the Department of International Relations at LSE, and I'm also the program director for the masters we run in International Relations Theory. The Theory of International Relations as a program is really just set out to explore the deeper ways that people think about international relations as a subject. So it tries to get behind why people think as they do and why they act as they do when they're conducting international relations as a field of practice. So it looks at the various theories, uh, toolkits that we have to explore international relations as a field of practice and keeps on going deeper beneath those to look itself at the modes of thinking, at the ways that we theorize, at the ways that we conceptualize international relations, where the synergies are between various different approaches and also where the differences are. It's about the depth of analysis that we try and take on. I think in many ways it's a classic LSE program in that it's intellectually robust, it's hard um, but fair, and we uh, look in depth at a range of issues. We hit the ground running very much in week one of autumn term. We have two-hour seminars every week that allows us to explore in some depth the texts and the debates that we get into. It's smaller than the other programs at about 25 students a year, and I think that helps build up an esprit de corps amongst the students with a lot of interaction between staff and students that means that that helps in, in, in and of itself the learning outcomes that people generate. The core course is unusual, I think, because it takes as its object of study three different engagements. The first is about international relations as a form of knowledge, actually the relationship between IR and philosophy. How do we know what we know about international relations? The second engagement is about IR and other social sciences. Usually IR is considered to be a branch of political science, and we do look at the relationship between IR and political science. We also look more broadly at IR's engagement with sociology, with history, with law, uh, with economics, and with other cognate disciplines. Thirdly, we think about IR and its relationship to the world. That may sound obvious, but you'd be surprised how many courses don't do that. So we look at to what extent the theories we have of international relations actually help to constitute the, the actual practices of international relations and vice versa. How much actually going on in the world informs our theories of them. So the core course, I think, is unusual because of those three engagements, and we set that up at the beginning of the course and really run that uh, throughout. So that's the core course. In terms of the options, there are a range of specially tailored options that we have uh, within the department. You take one or two of a theoretically inclined subject, which could range from something on international law or international political theory, humanitarian intervention, culture and religion, strategic aspects of the study. Uh, so something there that has quite a high level of uh, theory in it, a high uh, theoretical component. And then you can take a fourth course, an additional course, from either somewhere else in the department or from somewhere around the school. And that's something our students, I think, benefit from a lot. They really think about our understanding of international relations in a social science setting, which LSE is very good at, but with a slightly different disciplinary background. So you might go to anthropology to look at how they understand humanitarian interventions or complex emergencies. You might go to a sociology course and have a look at how they understand issues of human rights or theorizing and so on. So our students tend to quite often take a course from somewhere else in the school and I think benefit quite a lot from that. The background that students have when they start the course is sometimes an international relations background but not necessarily. What you really need are two things. You need to be intellectually very strong and you need to be very keen. And we're not that bothered about the background that people have beyond that. You might have done a law course, you might have done a philosophy course, a sociology course, a history course. We've even had people come to us from a literature background. But what you need to have is a strong record, uh, intellectually robust uh, background, and a real curiosity about the subject matter of international relations and theory of international relations. Uh, the jobs that people get aren't unusual from our other graduates. They'll go into uh, politics or international organizations or NGO work or whatever it might be, with one exception that quite a lot of our students will go on and do PhDs. When the program is intended to be for those students who are committed to the subject of international relations, that have a strong academic background and a strong academic interest in the subject. So it's not unusual to find uh, half or even two-thirds of students in a particular cohort go on to do a PhD at a UK, uh, European or, or American uh, university or indeed uh, somewhere else in the world. So I think that it's everything that people would want from an LSE program. 